I always tell friends that I want to get mauled by a grizzly bear, but only just lightly. What I mean is that I want to tangle with one of these bears to get really close to it and breathe its breath. The lure to hunt a grizzly, I find, is as much about that intimate proximity as anything else. To get up close to the danger, to embrace it, to look for that sort of trouble rather than going the other way, that is the appeal. I'm Steven Ranella. To me, hunting isn't only about the pursuit of an animal. It's about who we are and what we're made of. I live to hunt and hunt to live. I am a meat eater. Few places on earth are as renowned for bears as British Columbia. Some call it the Serengeti of North America. For someone from the US, this is a place you dream of coming your entire life. This is my first trip here to hunt, and I am lucky to have fallen into the perfect scenario. A friend of mine from Idaho and Montana, Ryan Callahan, is a licensed guide with an outfitter up here. And there are few people I'd rather wander the mountains with. The Rockies transect the North American continent from top to bottom, and we are hunting a small range that lies west of the Continental Divide in central British Columbia. There is little human traffic in these mountains and lots of animals. We're after bears, black bears, and grizzlies. We're thinking we'll have plenty of opportunities for a nice black bear. We just need to get an opportunity in a place where killing one won't diminish our chances of finding a grizzly. Getting a mature boar grizzly is a lifelong dream of mine. They are the kings of the mountains, and I'd love to tangle with one. You see that ground squirrel burrows where he's digging up? He unearthed a nest down there. You can see the bedding. Just some of the power to pop them rocks out, man, you know? Yeah. And everything in here is solid. Man, that is a bad old brave. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Whenever people get mauled, they always talk about getting rolled around. You can picture, like, rolling a big squishy rock. We climb up another thousand feet, and before we know it, we not only spot a grizzly bear, but we're right there in its zone. Dude, take a look. Yeah. Looks pretty young, right? Sitting within 300 yards of a grizz is an awesome experience. Most people would pay to never get near one of these beasts, but for me, there's little that is more exhilarating. I'm not here to simply shoot just any grizzly. For personal and conservation-minded reasons, I want to kill only a mature male. It's a lifetime quest for me, and I'm in no hurry to compromise. It's got to be right. I wouldn't mind seeing her take those things right over the top of the ridge and out here. That would be better if she got out here. She doesn't seem paranoid at all. She's got those three cubs, which makes you wonder if there's maybe not a boar in the area. I mean, I want to keep tabs on her, but we definitely need to start looking elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Side hill it up around the, on top of this next saddle. Mm -hmm. As we hike, we're conscious of being in the zone of a mother grizz and her cubs, which every solid outdoorsman knows is a potential danger. We try to keep track of her as we push past to continue the search for more bears. Oh, it's a black bear. You got a black. You might uh, see a rumble here. 
The wind keeps switching and blowing uphill. Oh, oh is that black bear right below? No, that's yeah, that's the black bear. It's not really big, but I saw mom. They were cutting this way. Then all of a sudden she turned and ran downhill. Oh, here she comes. We split off to take a look around, with Ryan keeping an eye on the sow grizz. There is game all around. I got another grizzly up here now. Look all the way up at the top. We're in Bear Central. That might make some folks nervous for good reason. There is no other animal on our continent that so readily goes from being the hunted to the hunter. So mom and the kids? Yeah. Are right down on the deck over here. She, she came all the way down to the creek. So she like cut a circle? Yeah. Um, What's old Blackie doing over there? Running for his life. Oh, you not. Let's just cut over, get up on that brown patch. I mean, do I got a minute here or should I? Uh, I docile. Really? Yeah. Just be better to keep everybody together at this point. No luck raising Giannis up. Well. We can't get Giannis on the Okay. Giannis, one of our producers, is downhill from us about 300 yards. Not ideal. In close quarters with bears, it's best to stick together. What is that? Where are you looking? Oh, is that a woodland caribou? Dang, they are looking good. Yeah. Four grizz, black bear, grizz, three or more are caribou. These caribou are way no touch, too. Like, this herd used to extend down into the mountains, like down into Idaho, Panhandle, Idaho, shh, shh, shh. Montana. Is she right here? Yeah. Is that her right there? Yeah, let's just make a little bit of noise and let her know that somebody's here. Hey, Mom. Hey. Hey, Mom. You're barking at us? Yeah. Hey, Mom. Take your kids and go. See her? Hey, Mom. She just came through this gap. She's coming this way. You got that uh, bear spray? Hey, Mom. You're barking at us? Yeah. Hey, Mom. Take your kids and go. See her? Hey, Mom. She just came through this gap. She's coming this way. You got that uh, bear spray? Hey, Mom. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey. Hey. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, 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 Mom. Hey, guys, let's move up on this hill. Get the wind at our back. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Keep backing up. Yeah, it's down that way. Easy on. Yeah, easy on. Hey, 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 slow, slow, slow. We gotta go down there. Yeah. Stay together.
You see him? Giannis? Yeah. I thought for sure we were gonna have to kill that sow. Oh, I'm glad she turned. That'll wake you up getting false charged by a bear, man. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> she's coming. Hey, you guys, or <laughs> she's coming at me? No, coming <laughs> to us. Ryan shot, and she didn't stop. Dude, I just had her at like 10 yards, man, charging <laughs> like freaking her tail off. <laughs> she charged us, man. That all gets over with, and I'm like, Giannis. And I, you know, I hear you, and I started running around, think I was gonna come around and watch him just like tearing you to pieces. <laughs> you thought you were gonna see. Yeah, I was gonna come down and try to get some of your stuff where these guys got at it. Pick through your gear a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Steve said you owed him 20 bucks. <laughs> I saw her, she ended up crossing, and I saw her tearing out. All right, good deal. I wonder if that all spooked that other grizz up there. It could have. A lot of wind coming down this way. He might not even hurt. No, he may not even hurt. So, camp down here or up there? I'm going to go to that one spot where you're going to like that spot. We already kind of claimed our territory. Yeah. In the morning, maybe we can find this guy and get a better look at him. Yeah. After an exciting start, we begin a week of dreamlike hunting that I will never forget. It's the perfect blend of two of my favorite things, walking and watching animals. Our hunting area consists of a small independent range of mountains with a well-defined divide that drops off steeply to both sides into dozens of hanging valleys and alpine basins. By hiking up to and along the divide, we can drop into a succession of parallel drainages each with the prospect of holding Mr. Wright, a tanker of an old boar grizzly. In search of him, we immediately start seeing other bears. There's a grizzly way up high. He's a little nervous. Makes me think he's not a big bear. He's tearing up that mountain like he's getting out of town, but he keeps stopping and looking back down the direction he's coming from. Definitely not king of the hill. He's like a little sub adult, you know? Learning to gauge the gender and size of bears takes a lifetime of study. First, you're trying to rule out sub-adult grizzlies, which have smallish, narrow heads and prominent ears. Instead, you want mature animals, which are larger bears with more blocky heads. Their ears seem to be smaller in proportion to the head and positioned more to the sides of the head. The boars have broader shoulders and longer necks, while sow's heads are more tapered and slender with a muzzle that seems to have an overbite. It's all a bit confusing, but you can't exactly reach down underneath there to check. This is what we're dealing with. This valley is like so beautiful I can cry. It looks good. There's old grizzle bear. You found him? Yes, sir. That bear's got some crazy coloration, man. Crazy coloration, super pretty. And ears off to the side of its head. Ears are off to the side of the head, for sure. But, uh, ah, man, I'm having a hard time telling if they're... It's eating. See, it got something. I feel like it has a very female face. Are you getting that vibe? No, I agree. I don't think this is the bear. Not the In it. my opinion. Man, it's too bad. Make some huckleberry daiquiris when you get back to camp. <laughs> Nothing fancy. <laughs> Each morning brings the same we see more bears than you could reasonably hope for. Each time we spot one, there's a moment of sheer excitement that it might be the one. Hmm. But every time we have to admit the truth, it's a youngster or a female. I hate to be a naysayer on all this stuff, but I don't see that as a big bear. No? 
Mm -mm. Man, they're all big, though. They are. <laughs> they're just incredibly impressive animals. Oh, there's that sow and those cubs. In the next basin over, we reconnect with mom and the kids during playtime. Man, they're having a knockdown. <laughs> oh, that one is just getting the best of his yeah. sibling, man. That one really gets at him with the left, doesn't he? He's like, I'm done. We're also seeing a ton of big blueberry fat and black bears, but not the right bear in the right place. He's just a snack. Yeah, he's working up there. I don't think that warrants shooting our area up there. Yeah. But oh man, is it something moving and alive on the hillside, which is sweet. I want to come out of here with bear meat, but I don't want to do it at the expense of finding a grizzly. Grizz over on that slope. It's not like a big wise old bear. All right. Yeah, I just enjoy looking, you know. Always fun to watch bears do their thing. Oh, oh. It's not a juvenile. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, he is glossy. Still fairly lanky looking, though, don't you? I don't know, man. I feel like that's a nice big bear, but... I think we're in a honey hole. I know. I feel like a spoiled brat. <laughs> it's hard to pass up a beautiful black bear like this one, but we still aren't seeing that big bruiser grizzly I promised myself to wait for. Yet another day goes by, and we head back to camp empty-handed. It's been days of hard hunting in the high country without finding the boar grizzly I'm looking for. But making our way back to camp that evening, we find what looks to be a nice black bear in the perfect location. Let me see this bear. He's getting a little aggressive. Getting too close to camp for his own good now. Mm -hmm. Came back, we essentially have a black bear very close to camp. It's a good sized bear. The wind's really crazy right now, but we're going to slip down and see about working our way a little closer to this bear. I think we'll be right in tight once we pop out here. That's the size of the bear. If we really wanted to shake hands with it, we'd go to that next ridge. I think we have to do that, just for the fun of it. He's coming our way. Another black bear up above us. That one up on top's looking kind of long. Should we be climbing after that one? Oh, well, we got to go this way to get there. Let's go take a look. think the one up above us right now is bigger. Well, if we really wanted to shoot that bear, we would have shot it from back there. Right. We spooked the first bear, but I've still got a chance on the second one. The light is fading fast, and he's out of sight. I need to take a chance. <laughs> Blowing a predator call in Grizzly Central is dangerous. We've already been charged once. but we're running out of daylight and options. This whole time, we've been like, 
acting like this black bear thing is just like a gimme once we decide to do it. But then you go try to do it, you realize you gotta put some effort in the stuff. This wind is just killing us. I bet we bump both these bears, man. Do you want to just for fun go across a little ways looking up? Yeah, you that want sounds good. Yeah. So that bear calling, he just is like, whatever, dude. Ears are off to the side. Looks pretty long bodied. Yeah, he does. Should we get set up and try for him? He's gonna roll right down that chute. <laughs> you wanna shoot off the pack stacked up? Yeah. Did you get that one out of there? 